Hey guys, it's Diego here and it is Labor Day weekend. It's actually Saturday um, as I'm filming this and it's raining outside here on the central coast of California. I got 73 degrees here in the garage though, it's so nice warm in here at the 74% relative humidity and that's kind of typical for the indoor environment here on a rainy day. Uh, it's not going to rain much. It's going to dribble for another hour or two and we'll be done. But hey, um, as you see this, it is Labor Day and that means it's also Moldy Monday. So here we go again. Uh, and this is episode 27 of the series. If you're just now tuning into the series, what this is about is that I've got a fairly extensive collection of bullet casting molds from different manufacturers, uh, a number of which I've never cast before. So I decided that it's time to get them out and see how they go. And so I've been pulling them out one at a time per week, casting them up and then take them out to shoot them. This is not about load development at all. What this is about is uh, for me to take a look at these bullets, um, find a, a suitable starting place for loads. Okay, then I can come back on a later activity and do a load workup for them should I choose to do so. In the meantime, I'm hoping that you will have the opportunity to take a look at some of these molds. Some of them are still quite obscure and and you don't see them very often and maybe you'll say oh yeah that looks like one that i could use also with regard to the actual loads that i'm using if the loads are published in something such as our lyman cast bullet handbook then i'll tell you uh, usually in the shooting section what those loads were however if it's not published uh, data if it's um, loads that i have uh, decided to use based on my own experience then i'm not going to tell you what they are that's a, kind of a risky thing for you to do anyway would be to copy my data i'm using loads that i feel are safe um, for my handguns not for yours okay i think you guys all know about that um, i've got a, a brand new mold for you this time this one well brand new to me right um wasn't invented yesterday or anything this is another lyman mold for 38357 um, and I got this new but I got it on sale at a really good price so uh, considerably less than uh, SRP. All right I'll show you that box label there so you can take a look at that maybe come on let's get in here and focus how about that there you go. Um, so this is a two cavity mold okay it's a 158 grain round flat styled bullet um, and it's one that there is load data for in the Lyman cast bullet handbook so that's always nice um, 158 grain uh, lead bullets for 38 I've got two or three loads that commonly work very well and um, we'll talk about that here in a minute but I did use a, a load that I thought was going to work out pretty well um, and it did so um, let's get in here and take a look at the mold if you're watching on YouTube, you know I won't show it to you. You've got to go over to the Rumble channel, and I apologize for that. That's just the way it is. Okay. Um, if you haven't seen me on Rumble, you go to rumble.com, and, and you type this in right here okay, in their search engine. Um, and that will take you to my, my page over there. So you, you can subscribe there. They call it follow instead of subscribe, but same thing. didn't cost anything or anything like that. So, um, All right. Um, so we'll bring down, you down in here close. We'll take this mold apart and see what she looks like. And uh, if you are watching on YouTube, we're going to jump you uh, right over top of the casting parts because I can't show that here. Um, and we'll take you to the metrics uh, page and show you how the bullet measured up okay, after it was cast. And then we'll go get some shooting done. Here's our measurements for this bullet. The 358665 bevel base. With my alloy today, they came out at 166 grains using that Viejo number one, the 9532. Two cavities were very close, 0 0.361, 0 0.360 with that alloy. Overall bullet length, 0.668, and to the top of the crimp groove, 0.395. So these guys here are the 665 bullet done in a mix I call stone 5050 Eastwood midnight green metallic and beige. Okay, as you saw, it ran pretty darn well for a brand new mold. You've seen enough of these videos now, and you know that sometimes I don't get you know really good luck right off the bat with a brand new mold. 
Um, but this one uh, did a pretty good job. We had a couple cults, but you know, that again is to be expected with a brand new mold. Next time it runs, this one's gonna run perfect. And I'm fairly certain of that. But anyway, um, uh, there's all the, uh, the info from the casting. Uh, I went to the range. Um, I didn't shoot a whole lot of the bullets. I only loaded up a wheel full um, to try. I had some other stuff to shoot that day. So uh, there's not a whole lot of video there. Um, and I got to apologize a little bit for a couple things. One is you're going to hear a couple of the, the old boys in the background talking behind me. Um, one of them is the range master and another one's a, a club member and, and they're just yakety yakking, but it's kind of, kind of interesting. You, you can tell they're old guys by what they're talking about. <laughs> um, uh, and then the other thing was you know, my aim with the, one of the cameras was really bad. Um, you know, those GoPros, you can't see the video screen that's facing away from me. And as it turned out, I had it aimed up a little bit too high and didn't realize it. Um, so mostly what you're going to see, um, from me shooting is like the butt of the gun, <laughs> but you can, you can see it go off and you can hear it. And, uh, the, uh, camera that was on the target worked fine. So you'll be able to see that. All right, let's go to the range. In here and, and shot some kind of tracer to locate the problem in my rotator cuff and they injected a dye or something. And then I went from there immediately to my osteo doctor and he turned on the screen and the needle and oh, that's what he was looking to see what the damage was. Followed the path and he shot it right into where it was supposed to go. That lasted a year and a half before I needed another shot. So I went to him and asked him to do that again. He said, oh yeah, sure. Gave me a regular shot that didn't work at all. <laughs> okay, here's the group from that 665 bullet. Pretty decent group. The camera just stopped on the last shot. I think it might have picked up the vocal from the guys behind me. But anyway, good group. All right, as you saw, the shooting went pretty well. I was happy with the performance of that particular load and, uh, you know, with this bullet. Um, it's one that I'm going to cast more of and shoot more of, for sure. Okay, in fact, I think this week I'm going to get after... You know, some more casting on this one. It's a good bullet. Um, I think that uh, we can bring this one to a close with the Lyman 358665. Um, I enjoyed casting and shooting this one. Uh, I hope you got something out of the video and uh, I'm wishing you all a happy Labor Day. I hope you're out there today with family and friends doing a little barbecue and a little grilling or something um, and enjoying the, the holiday. But from the Viejo bench, for now that's all she wrote. Hee <laughs> hee